welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber and if this is your first time here hi my name is Onyinye I am Yechi and I'm also a Lagos based content creator yes yeah, so today's video hmm, my hair explains it the way my hair looks I've done like part of my makeup yes I just need to get my hair done and finish up my makeup so that's what I'm going to be doing in this video I have a new week to install today and i'm also going to be talking about 2021 so far like i feel like i don't know about you guys some people are waiting till december to wrap up their own year like i'm wrapping up mine like this november because december for me is just vlogmas and vibes vlogmas and vibes repeat that's all so like december i just want to have fun the hair i'm gonna be installing is from natural girl wigs okay so this is the bag that it came in so it came in this um white tote bag and i really like the drawing in front here so inside the bag now let me bring out the wig so this is the bag that it came in i'm so happy it comes in this bag so that i can keep my wig back when i'm done like installing it i'm so happy i have this you know storage bag with it because the general storage bag I use for all my wigs, currently it is filled up. It is very much filled up. I'm just trying to squeeze the wigs there. So it's just a transparent, like a Ziploc bag. And inside here I have a card. So this is a maintenance hair guide. This is how it is then. We have a couple of things here. So a note from the team, um, how to care for faux hair. How to care for the clipping the clippings and the ponytail so basically natural girl wigs is is a hair brand okay and they produce you know different types of hair extensions talking about ponytails clipping wigs okay but most of them are made with texture like the texture of most of the hair is like african texture so we have kinky so in case you're looking for like a kinky ponytail either you know the kinky afro or like a kinky blown out texture you can check it out you can check out their page for you know that type of hair they also have wigs that you can easily you know just throw on and you know you still have that big hair puffy vibe like it's your natural hair but it's not actually your natural hair yes and you know the quality is actually great i've seen a lot of good reviews this is my very first week from them so i'm really hoping that it comes out really well but i've seen i've heard a lot about them okay so the good thing is that i have a discount code for you guys to use n g w e h e so it gives you 10 percent off whether you're ordering this wig or you're ordering another wig so now let me open this up show you guys what it looks like okay guys so the wig is out of the bag this is what it looks like um so this is like kinky blown out texture it is it feels really really soft and it has a frontal so it's already pre-plucked so unless you want to do like some kind of extra styling so now let's talk about you know 2021 see i might be saying 2022 i might be making mistakes and saying 2022 but trust me it's because i feel like i'm already over this year to be i, I don't want to say i'm over it because i know that a lot of things can still happen like you know last minute you know a lot of things that didn't happen this year can still happen before the end of the year but i think my very first lesson very first lesson this year has to be there's really nothing like you know perfect life balance okay you know the way you have like three different aspects of life at least for me so i have like my personal life i have work life and then i have business life so business like content creation and work you know being like my job perfect balance ideally would be like let's say over 100 every part of your life gets the whole 33.33 and it sounds really cute now you know it sounds really nice every everybody's getting what you're supposed to get all parts of your life are enjoying it but in actual sense for me this year it has been nothing close to that honestly i'm no longer ashamed of it i think it's just one lesson that i learned that you know it's not always going to be perfect like you're not always going to have that 33.33 percent sometimes it's 50 and then you have 30 20 okay and some other times you even have 70 on one side and you know the two other sides are battling for the remaining 30 so sometimes people come and see me oh youtube i'm killing it 
at work i'm killing it instagram i'm killing it but those times my personal life i wasn't really killing it so in terms of you know taking care of myself taking care of my body and all i wasn't really doing that so a lot of times like eating healthy i didn't even have time to like make proper meals um i started going to the gym i stopped because i couldn't keep up like i didn't have time um there was a particular day i went to the gym and i was literally on my phone because i was trying to like post here and do this and reply everything and all so i pretty much just stopped okay definitely going into the new year i hope to you know continue it okay so guys i have cut the lace totally now the excess lace off okay this is in a very gray shade the lace is quite gray so i'm going to have to apply some foundation on it just like this base part i feel like i might not put it all over but i'm going to put it the place that you know the parts of the hair that matter but first of all i want to run a comb through it just to make sure the whole hair is aligning i've gotten to a point where i've accepted that you know it's not always going to be that 33 percent um though i might want to work towards it i'm also taking it very easy on myself like okay this part of my life is suffering for a while um there was a time where youtube was suffering and instagram was like the popping place now there was a time where i switched sides and like youtube became like more of a popping place and i think that's how it's going to be going forward um i'm not trying to be on all the platforms like i'm not trying to you know be on the next big platform like i mean look at me i even gave up on tiktok so i'm not trying to be on all the platforms i'm literally just trying to do what i can do with what i can do guys so there's a little bit of shedding but i think it's just because i cut too much into the lace so i cut part of the lace that had hair on it so it's like the hair on the lace that i cut off that is coming off yeah so let me get my foundation quickly hold up so i'm just trying to get foundation in like on the front part just so that the lace would match my scalp a bit more so now i'm gonna take off this scarf okay and going in with a brown wig cap i think that whole you know perfect balance thing was one thing i just dropped off and trust me i've been taking life easier on myself since i discovered that okay like i really dealt with myself like april april period was one of like the toughest months for me this year it was april was very tough for me i think after that i learned the lesson and i'm just like nope i'm no longer going to be wicked to myself do you know the amount of people that are wicked to themselves like they make excuses for other people like ah oh, she wasn't feeling fine she didn't take care of herself and then for you yourself like you're the one living with yourself you can't even be kind to yourself guys it's so so important that you're actually kind to yourself every single day that's like my very first lesson this year so guys just take it easier on yourself there's really nothing like perfect balance okay focus on what you need to per time there are times where you know your work needs to come as priority there are other times where you know your business might come as priority but you know try to make sure that one way or the other both parties are not suffering for too long because it's inevitable one party will suffer at some point but i want to make sure that it doesn't suffer for too long because that's when people start to lose ginger to do things the people that are on the receiving end they might get pissed off like your personal life when it comes to family they might you know get annoyed with your behavior how you're always work 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 or in a, if you're in a relationship and you don't have time for your partner so you want to make sure that you know no side is suffering for too long guys it's very very important so right now it's time to wear the wig okay so um it has you know a comb here so when i put it in i will just you know tighten it but let me do that now okay all right wonderful mm -hmm. Guys, so this is what the hair looks like on my hair. Okay, definitely, I think a little bit of styling needs to be done. I've already taken off my mic because I was afraid that um, the hair was going to be touching my mic and you guys will not be able to hear me. But now my mic is in front of me. Um, yeah, so this is what the hair looks like. I want to work on this pattern here. Um, find a way to make it more pronounced because i I mean it's full it's kinky in nature so it's easy for you to for the pattern to like 
be not 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 noticeable to be unnoticed yes that's the english to be unnoticed yes so i just want to open it up a bit okay and then i'm going to talk about my second lesson so the lesson now is that hmm, guys wickedness please it's a very weird lesson for guys wickedness please and i honestly think it's just you know the whole moving to lagos that made me learn this lesson but kai this lagos is filled with very very wicked people and like you just you don't you try to be nice and you just see that the nicer you are like you're getting the bottom of the pot like you're getting the leftovers and like almost everyone is a you experience bullies literally almost every day in lagos either you're going to work you're driving like if you just stay in lagos traffic you would see mad bullies and it's just sometimes i just used to be like calm what's happening why are we rushing to wait why, why why is everyone so mean but like honestly it's pace because there are some times that you want to be nice but you just can't be because there are some people that you have to really change it for and by wickedness i'm not saying oh you know go and put poison inside somebody's food or kill somebody or anything no i'm definitely not saying that okay but there are just some people that when they when they open eye for you and tell you that they are nowhere you also tell them to that they are nowhere because man in this lagos we are actually all not well you just pray that today you will meet somebody with the same level of grace as you that's all that's the prayer points because you cannot you cannot in lagos you cannot say that god please let me meet normal people anymore before i just used to be very calm you know if they slap you turn the other cheek that you know that kind of lifestyle but sometimes a little bit of bass boost is needed and i think it's just very important like don't let anybody bully you at all guys i'm already playing with this hair because like i'm loving it so far already it's this is the center part that was able to open it's not so straight so i'm trying to make it straight okay let me quickly do that i don't think i can talk concentrate and do that at the same time right now i want to touch up on this side with some concealer for the parting here so i'm just gonna take very little with my concealer brush so just gonna touch here bring it start to drag it to the front slowly i'm gonna take some more of the concealer on my brush and just bring it here so i have done that and that's gonna take me to my next lesson so my next lesson is definitely um to talk about anything that you want like um i feel like manifesting like saying what you want became a thin more this year so you know we had people posting more about oh i want to get accepted into this or i want to work with this brand i mean talking about it was how my first pa got her job with me so i feel like if you want something you can talk about it on the internet i know how people you know can sometimes turn it against you or but i feel like there are still nice people out there someone you never really can say so um i know there was a time i said that i wanted to you know be on tv it was just something that i put on my story and i'm just like you know guys i actually want to you know be interviewed by a tv station something very casual and though i know like the following week or so i got a call um i got like a message first of all like a, i think a mail then a message to on whatsapp and you know they wanted to call me in to interview me and do and i'm like wow and you know the person that actually plugged me to it you know sent me a dm letting me know that oh i saw your story and i'm like i'm the one that handles this i felt like you'd be a great fit now this is just one out of so many things i've talked about that i wanted to happen to me that you know actually happened to me so i feel like talking about it was really one lesson that i learned like if you want something say it okay now this don't go and turn it to you know you being a beggar on the internet or something like that but i mean i feel like with what david Doe did this past week please nobody can be tagged a beggar anymore on the internet but like yeah um if you just want something like talk about it like i'm talking maybe you want an opportunity to work somewhere or you want an opportunity to do something or you're looking for somebody let's say you want to hire or something like that like just try to talk about it the internet has a way of bringing what you need towards you i mean we've seen what instagram ads do literally yeah 
final thing i want to do is to kind of use a hot comb on this side of the hair so i really want this side to stay flat okay so i'm gonna get my hot comb and guys this hair is heat resistant up to 400 fahrenheit so i'm gonna plug my hot comb let me bring it out guys so this is the hot comb that i am going to be using just to go through my hair so while it's getting hot um still this year i think one thing i've also learned is that female friendships are great like they are amazing so if you know me like in the past like early uni year secondary school maybe even down to like primary school i've not really had a very very great with like female female friendships so it's either they betray me or they are talking behind my back or once in once till we fight like almost every two weeks and one thing about me is that once we have constant fights it's it's it means a lot for me like i'm not someone that will say ah we're fighting but i still like you know nope. once you're having constant fights for me it's a very very huge red flag and a need for me to run so i didn't really have it great but um i think ending of 2019 you know i met my girls and we you know formed this kind of bond 2020 was great but because we weren't really you know together 2020 thanks to covid um, but like 2021 it was so beautiful um i think with my place of work too like the girls that i work with closely we became like friends and we clicked instantly and i honestly felt you know i felt myself warming up more to like female friendships this year so i became more open to like making more female friends and i became more open to you know growing the friendships that i have and it has honestly been really really great so i feel like you know female friendships are great um so if you're in a season where you don't have female friends um uh, no pressure honestly no pressure it's really not the end of the world okay i was there i did die <laughs> to be honest so but it's something that you know i'm so happy that i have to date like i'm so so happy that i really really have my girls to date so right now this is not getting hot though you guys okay so it's getting hot now so i'm just gonna use it to work on this top part hopefully the heat makes it you know come down to an extent because i don't really want this up part to be quite puffy i'm really praying that this thing doesn't touch my face because <laughs> it's will be funny my sister has burnt herself with like this hot comb before like her face here yeah so i just really want the this part to come down a little bit more okay and that's basically all i want the rest of the hair is still really straight okay and i don't have any issue with it so i'm just gonna do this top part it's important that you know this place is this side is a little bit flat for me guys so this is what the hair looks post straightening i adjusted the part in a little bit all i did was to ensure it was straight then i added more concealer to define it a little bit more but this is what it looks like i actually do like it so i need to finish off my lip okay um i intentionally left that out because normally when i want to do my hair i prefer like matte lips like only like lip balm because if hair gets on lip gloss it's usually very very messy so i wanted to lay my hair first of all before doing like my lip so my final lesson has to be for like fellow content creators here and that would be this thing that you're doing like this whole creating content and all is to run it like a business so i know i shared this earlier but that has to be like my biggest lesson for like 2021 so i became like business wise more serious with my brand this year and like i'm definitely ending the year on a much 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 better note like who is this girl that registered a business in the US? Who is this girl that, you know, is doing consultations? So with consultations for me, I was very scared, honestly, because um, I feel like when you give people like personal advice, like one-on-one, -on -one, they can... Oh shit, this thing is still on. So I feel like when you give people advice like one-on-one, -on -one, they can easily say, ah, Echi, you told me this, so I tried it and it didn't work out for me. And they start to hold you by your neck. So I was very scared about starting out the consultation because i'm like wow i start to give people advice that is for them only so if it doesn't go well you know they come back to hold me literally and i wasn't ready for that i was actually a bit scared so but i went for it and 
it actually turned out well like the feedback has always been great um i started getting more intentional like this year i've turned down so much pro bono like free work i've turned down so much this year so i started you know understanding the worth of my content i'm just going for what i really want so i started saying no to like things like oh we want to pay you this price and i'm like no that's not my price because when it comes to pricing people think oh pricing is just knowing how much to charge and uh, it's more than that it's not just knowing how much to charge but also knowing how to fight for it so whenever i'm having price consultations um i usually talk to people and i want to let i want to understand like how they think about you know getting paid for content so sometimes some of them feel they shouldn't even be paid and i'm like if if people with free stuff approach you you're still gonna fall for it because you don't know your worth yet you don't know how to you don't you've not seen your value you understand so until you see that you're not able to say no you're able to say no you're able to bargain for a higher fee okay so it's more than just you know slapping a price on an instagram post or for one youtube video or for three stories it's understanding and being able to fight for it like when you swear free things come your way okay how do you negotiate it to actually end to make it end up as a deal and this thing is practice okay so you might take so many courses on it and all but if you don't put it to work it's like waste literally is waste honestly um so you need to be able to practice those things so try pitching to brands when you know they tell you free stuff let them know that okay i'm currently not taking any proponent but here's my rate card if you want to proceed with like um a paid partnership that type of stuff so that's pretty much it but Running it like a business for me changed a lot of things. So when I knew that, okay, I have to break even, I have to make profits. I mean, I put so much into my gears beginning of this year and I told myself that, yeah, Chi, I don't know how you're going to do it, but you're going to have to make this money back. So YouTube definitely did not give me as much money as I wanted this year. But guess what did my consultation? gave me a decent amount of money this year and also working with brands so i was able to find different ways to still get the money that i'm putting into my brand back and of course you know build more streams of income so i think running like a business is very 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 important to be honest sorry i'm admiring my lips guys so this is the final look i totally totally love it i can easily just you know run my hands through the hair and you know bring some to the front keep this one to the back i wanted a kinky straight hair this year um but i spent my money on like other things yeah so i'm happy that i still got one so this is totally great guys like see it's just flowing and guys this is 24 inches it comes down to like my waist area um it's pretty long long enough for me okay so what you guys think about this so this is week vogue i don't know how i didn't mention that in the beginning of this video but this is week vogue i have a direct link for you guys to shop it okay don't forget if you want to shop this you get it at 10 percent off if you use my code ngw yechi so this is absolutely nice guys i feel like i'm gonna open up more patterns like maybe do it to make it like a side pattern but what i want to do now is i want to see how it is like off center so i want to try and twist it here so if this was a side part it would be really nice too i can decide to you know just twist it instead of opening a part in two um so this is lovely i don't know are you guys liking it let me know what you guys think about this so i hope you guys found this video helpful hope you learned something from it from my lessons um share your lessons with me for 2021 okay this might be one of my last sit down videos for the year i feel like december is just going to be vibes like if i'm doing any video it's going to be lifestyle lifestyle vlogs lifestyle vlog lifestyle vlog before we go back to january which i feel like i'm going to take a break in january i get very exhausted when everybody's posting a lot of motivational stuff so you know the way people get all motivational in january is usually like my least favorite part of the year yeah so i just might take a break from all of that from like maybe social media in january yeah but like for this phase i just want to have fun this december i'm mentally exhausted 
this year to be very honest yeah so thank you guys so much for watching the video if you haven't liked it please like it because you know that helped me get across to more people i'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers for the end of the year please if you tap that button you're making me a step closer to it yeah so like this video if you haven't subscribed please 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 subscribe thank you i'll see you guys in my next video bye